Hey guys, what's up? There's Howie, and we're talking about the pituitary gland. Now, the pituitary gland is called the master gland because it has, boom, five hormones on the anterior side and two hormones on the posterior side. And then I'm going to discuss with you what those hormones are. So let's go ahead and start here um, in my handy dandy little tool for anatomy. And I'm going to get a little closer. And I'm gonna go find myself a little pituitary gland. So, there it is. So now if we're gonna go to the pituitary gland, let's take a look at it. Can't really quite see it here, so I'm gonna fade it. And there you see the pituitary gland. Can you see it? It's blinking green. Boop, it's right there. Right smack in the middle of my eyes and my brain. Um, so I'm gonna zoom in here. There you go. Yeah, you see it right there in the center. Um, it's not, I mean, it's controlled, it's called the pituitary master gland. However, it is also controlled by the hypothalamus, which creates um, the impetus for it to start before it secretes all the hormones. So it waits for the hypothalamus to tell it what to do, but it's in charge because it secretes all the specific hormones that your body needs, okay? Does that make sense? And so, Let's go with the left and the right so you can find it all. I'm going to hide the rest and now you can see it. So the anterior pituitary uh, will secrete one. Let's start with growth hormone. It's called like the puberty gland because it starts secreting a growth hormone when you go through puberty so you can get big and strong and you can get also tall. Now if you can't get tall because for some odd reason your anterior pituitary, pituitary gland isn't doing its work then we're gonna secrete, I'm sorry, not we're not gonna secrete but we're gonna put uh, give you or your child or whomever uh, the synthetic version of the growth hormone. It's not quite as easy because at least when it's inside your body it's automatic but if we have to do it then we have to do it um, as nurses in a very controlled and very supervised way so we make sure that we do it right. Next we have the um, let's see the adrenal corticotropic hormone and this is secreted from the top of the kidneys on the adrenal glands. Um, very important stuff then next we have the thyroid stimulating hormone now the thyroid stimulating hormone stimulates the thyroid to then stimulate its stuff does that make sense so that was confusing to me for the beginning when i started nursing school because i'm like what i thought the pituitary gland was master gland but no the hypothalamus starts pituitary gland secretes the thyroid stimulating hormone which kind of like goes down be like imagine me as the pituitary gland and this is um, the, the thyroid right there down the neck. And I'm like, oh, I'm awake on the pituitary gland. So I secrete the simulating, thyroid stimulating hormone. And I'm like, hey, 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 thyroid, do your job. So then it secretes thyroid. And, you know, the T3 and T4 um, will then decrease, uh, which sets up a negative feedback loop. Um, next, we have... Uh, one, two, three, four. Ah, the FSH, the follicle stimulating hormone, which is in the ovaries. Uh, it tells the ovaries to um, release an egg to start the menstrual cycle. So you get the follicular stimulating hormone. It stimulates the follicles of the ovaries to release and to open up and release an egg. And then we also have semicolon, the LH luteinizing hormone, uh, which is for the guys to uh, activate their gonads in order to activate our secondary sex characteristics that for the most part shows us that we're male. Okay, and then five, we've got prolactin. Not for the boys, this is for the girls who are breastfeeding. It activates the mammary glands in order to create milk in order to feed the baby when you're breastfeeding. So that's the anterior pituitary gland right in the front. A lot of stuff, so one, two, three, four, five. We've got the um, growth hormone, adrenal corticotropic hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, FSH and LA, LH, and we've got the prolactin. Next, posterior pituitary. Let me choose a little different color here. Uh, posterior pituitary. Uh, secretes two things. One, oxycontin. I'm oh, sorry, oxytocin. 
I get that confused a lot. Oxycontin is a pain medication. You don't want to secrete that. Um, so this is oxytocin. And for those of you in the know, oxytocin is a hormone that helps the uterus compress in order to start stage two of the labor uh, where the baby is expelled from the uterus. So it starts the, the expulsion part of the pregnancy where your baby, you, your little brother, whomever the baby is, is born. Happy birthday! Okay, and then two, it also secretes ADH, which is an antidiuretic hormone, and that deals with a lot of body uh, fluid balance um, that is controlling the kidneys and um, whether it's to release, increase more uh, fluid or less fluid, and that's very, very important, specifically if it, if it pertains to um, blood pressure, which is also influenced by fluids, of course, because you know pressure. All right, so uh, to recap, anterior p um, pituitary gland has five hormones, which is a growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, FSH and LH, adenocorticotropic hormone, and prolactin. Whereas the posterior pituitary gland only has two hormones, which is oxytocin if you're a female, um, and a, um, the antidiuretic hormone if you're a male and female, both. Okay, so five hormones for anterior, can you see my hand? Five hormones for anterior pituitary gland, two hormones for the posterior pituitary gland. Either way, very, very important gland, which is why it's right smack in the middle of your head. Okay, all right, great, great, thanks. Here's Howie out.